Ever wondered where chickpeas come from and how they are grown? Well, you're in for a treat. Welcome to the world of chickpeas, small round beans, also known as garbanzo beans. Tan or yellow when dried, they're a delight to the senses with their nutty, starchy taste. Whether it's in the form of hummus, a hearty addition to salads, stews, or curries, these legumes have made their mark. Chickpeas are not just a culinary delight, but they also have an interesting journey from the field to your plate. And did you know that chickpeas are grown all around the world? Yes, these small round beans are a global affair. They're cherished in various cuisines, and their cultivation spans across continents. Take India, for instance, where chickpeas have been a dietary staple for centuries. Then there's Pakistan, another major producer, where chickpeas are incorporated into a plethora of traditional dishes. Turkey, too, contributes significantly to the global production, with chickpeas finding their way into delicious Turkish delicacies. And let's not forget Australia, where the hot, dry climate provides perfect conditions for chickpea cultivation. These countries, among others, have one thing in common, a climate that chickpeas love. These legumes thrive in hot and dry environments, usually planted after the chill of winter has passed. It's this combination of warmth and dryness that allows the chickpea plant to flourish, producing those delightful beans we all enjoy. So the next time you enjoy a chickpea dish, remember it could have come from any of these places. Now, let's delve into the fascinating process of growing chickpeas. It all begins with planting the seeds after the winter months, as chickpeas thrive in a warm climate. They are sown about one to two inches deep in the soil, with each seed roughly six to eight inches apart. This spacing allows each plant ample room to grow and flourish. Chickpeas are quite the resilient little beans. They can tolerate a wide range of soil types, although they prefer slightly acidic to neutral pH levels. They do require a good drainage system though, as standing water can lead to root rot. As the chickpea plants start to sprout, they grow similarly to bush beans. Their height reaches about one to two feet, which might seem small, but don't let their size fool you. These plants are hardy and can withstand dry conditions, making them perfect for areas with less rainfall. In due time, the plants develop small, delicate white flowers. These flowers are not just aesthetically pleasing, but are a vital part of the chickpea growth process. They signal the beginning of the pod development stage. Each flower eventually turns into a long green pod, which houses one or two chickpeas. The maturation period for chickpeas varies depending on the variety and climate, typically ranging from 90 to 150 days. As the pods mature, they start to dry and turn brown. This is a clear sign that the chickpeas are ready for harvesting. Harvesting is a delicate process. The pods are carefully picked from the plants and opened to collect the chickpeas. These chickpeas are then dried, ensuring they are preserved for longer. From a tiny seed, the chickpea journeys through various stages of growth, battling the elements to become the protein and fiber-rich bean we know and love. It's quite a journey, isn't it? Now you have an insight into how these little beans grow from a seed to a mature plant. This is the story of chickpeas, a humble legume with a global culinary impact. From the field to your kitchen, let's see what happens to chickpeas after harvest. The ripe chickpea plants are plucked either by machines or by hand, depending on the scale of the farm. Each green pod is cracked open to reveal the precious chickpeas inside. Once gathered, they are left to dry, transforming into the familiar tan or yellow beans we all know. The dried chickpeas are then shelled and cleaned thoroughly. They're bagged and shipped off, ready to be used in kitchens worldwide. A versatile ingredient, chickpeas find their way into a plethora of dishes. They are ground into flour for baking, boiled for stews, and even roasted for a crunchy snack. Of course, let's not forget the humble hummus, a creamy dip that's enjoyed globally, its main ingredient being none other than our beloved chickpeas. So whether you're enjoying a chickpea salad or a bowl of hummus, you know the journey it's been on. So what have we learned about chickpeas? These small round beans from the legume family are a global affair, grown primarily in hot, dry climates. They journey from seed to plant, blooming with white flowers that give way to green pods, housing the chickpeas we know and love. Harvested and dried, they find their way into dishes worldwide, offering a protein and fiber-rich addition to our meals. Next time you enjoy a chickpea dish, remember the journey it took to reach your plate. Please like, subscribe, and leave your suggestions for future topics in the comments. Sheesh!